Federal Appeals Court in Richmond upheld a ruling by a lower court that the special plates violate the Constitution. Here's how. The original judge, James Wynn, an Obama appointee, wrote that the state tried to legally privilege speech on one side of a hotly debated issue. You see, the legislature refused to approve plates with a competing message, such as respect choice. Now, I suggest that the Carolina Pregnancy Care Fellowship, whose pro-life efforts would have received $15 from the sale of each Choose Life plate, petitioned the General Assembly for a second plate with a message, Choose Death. True, very few people would have the nerve to buy and display that plate, but if they did, the pro-life movement would benefit. And with a competing message, Choose Life could no longer be banned. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.